Hello, and welcome back to Tommy's Top Picks. I'm Tommy, joined by John. How's it going? We got more Soul Forge. Heck yeah. So, uh, in the previous episode, we opened the Fusion Starter Kit. It was super cool. Go watch it if you haven't already. This is the follow-up, where we open the Booster Kit. So, what is the Booster Kit, John? You do what against is your the friends with kit? these four unique decks. So, this is the same thing. It's four decks. It's just the cards and not the like tokens and stuff, right? That's right. No mats, none of the extras. But so say this was cheaper than this, would you just buy more of these? No, I don't want that extra stuff. So you pay more <laughs> to get less. Uh Wouldn't you just pay less and then throw away the other stuff? No, I don't I'm I'm not wasteful. <laughs> All right. Just Plus money. I Let's think go. I think the booster or the starters have uh less powerful ones. I could be wrong about okay. that. Let us know in the comments if you've yeah. been following Soulforge and opening. Have you been getting your spicy decks from starter kits, or have you been getting your spicy decks from booster kits? Yeah, that's a question that I would like. The to the theory was you can get one spicy half in one of the starter kits. Okay, so maybe that's so that's what I heard, but I have no idea. So okay, we can talk about it now that I've opened it and thought about it. Sure. Um. Is it enough? It is enough technically. So you can just literally just the four. So. Um, technically, yes, you have enough to play for two people in the starter kit. I don't. Yeah. I think there's a stronger deck and a weaker deck. Though. Yes, if you spend the time to look at them beforehand. Otherwise, you can turn them face down. You choose one. I choose one. You choose one. I choose one. Oh, yeah. That that makes all. Alternatively, for the uh, before it's even opened, you can choose them face up. You choose a color, I choose a color. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that, like in that other set, especially now that I know what's in there, if you chose purple, I'd choose green. Right. You know, because I know those two would be gross together, and that will at least balance it out a little bit. Do you know of the other two? Which one you would choose with your purple? I don't. And I'm not sure what you would want to choose with green, honestly. So right. it's an interesting like yeah. Yeah. now it's a now it's a game, right? Like okay, so we let's play that game with this. We got four. We got blue, red. We got the same purple. Well, not same, same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, even the cards, you'll notice abyssal skeleton. Yeah. There might be a different adjective or different noun to, and then oh, the powers are different, and the everything can be different. Interesting. Okay. That's why there's 15,000 cards. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Yep. Okay. So let's do the same order. Green. Start with purple. Even, don't even need. Oh, that one just. That's, charger. that's. Yep. That's how mine was. Popped right open like that. Right open. Uh oh. Here it goes. <laughs> <laughs> right up. Hmm. Okay. So we got our abyssal skeleton. At the end of each deck cycle, each enemy player destroys one of their creatures. That's new. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. I kind of like that. I think that only. I'm not sure if that's any good though. You play with a bunch of like wasp or like small stuff tokens. Yeah, but at the end of each deck cycle, oh, but this only... is a gold. You're yeah, only so going to get one what are the... cycles out of it. The silver does the same thing. Bronze okay. Does the same thing. Okay. So yeah, then that's fine. Then it's each. Yeah. Okay. That's not bad. That's not terrible. But we should look at this first. Soldiers of Nightmare. Okay. So this is my, this might be that token one. Doesn't look like anything too special. No, it doesn't. What's the hero? I always forget that it's on the back of this. Oh, it's a new hero. Aha, they Next, are. Nakia. Dark summoning. Play a zombie brute minion. That's not bad at all in the beginning because no. that's not a small critter. No. <laughs> that is very painful at the first or second round. Raising dead. You may play a mindless zombie minion. Give your minions plus four. So this one likes the zombie minion stuff. Yep. Army of the Damned. 
play up to one zombie brute minion in each lane. Can I use this no. purple with the other purple? No. No. And that's sad. Real sad, John. I know. As that is the part I was the most the upset first, about. Yeah. I wanted to construct. I was like, I want to construct. Let yes. me build decks. Yeah. <laughs> that's how I'm feeling right now. Yeah. Arrogant yeah, fiend. Maybe there'll be a format where you There might can. be. There might be. Arrogant fiend. When this is destroyed, give one of your creatures plus six. Plus six. Eh. I mean, old. it it's good if you have things to care about when you sacrifice creatures, stuff happens. Yeah, but then you're sacrificing a fifteen four. Yeah, but it might well, yeah, that's true. That's pretty yeah, that's true. Epidemic. All creatures get minus eight, minus eight. Board wipe, kind of. Almost. Uh, necromatic aberration. Deploy. You may destroy another one of your creatures to give this plus eight, plus eight. When this is destroyed, you may play a zombie brute minion in this lane. Cool. That's really good. Portal Ooh. shade. Stealth. Stealth. Activate, That's destroy hard. this to give a creature plus 13. Okay. Nice. Scourge Hydra. 14 8. Deploy. If one of your creatures was destroyed this turn, destroy enemy any enemy creature. Seems fine, but one gold. Uh, Soul Reap. Deal 7 damage to a creature. You gain 7 health. If you have a beast in play, deal seven damage to a player. You gain seven. So you do both of those. Yep. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Beard Hydra, creature beast. Deploy. If one of your creatures was destroyed this turn, give this plus five plus five. Seems good. Uh, Varna's Pact, Spell. You may play a zombie brute minion. Uh, give an enemy creature minus five, minus five for each minion you have in play. That's interesting. If if the lower level stuff creates minions, which I, I kind of think it might, based yeah. on what you have in this set, um, this may be pretty good. You have to learn the combos, though, for sure. Yeah. It's not obvious. Yeah, you have a lot of zombie creation. Grass will. You may play two zombie brute minions. If you gained health this turn, this is free. Yeah, you may enjoy this one I, better with the yeah. other other guy, the other green. Abyssal Skeleton at the end of each deck cycle. Yeah, we know that one. Yeah. I was curious about a couple of these. Yeah, so that carries over. Nice. Good. You may play a zombie brute minion given an enemy. Yeah. One thing about it that shakes consistency is that you don't play the last five cards. Right. Per cycle. So even if you have a theme and a combo and a plan, oops, it didn't happen. You know yeah. what I mean? Right, right. So. You got to play flexibly, which I don't know that I'm good at that. <laughs> <laughs> I like knowing what I want to do when I get into there. Um, Where I thrive. Yeah. Oh, is it? That's your That's your like, favorite like, style? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, then you'll enjoy this. Like, I Francis, have no idea what I'm doing. Really good. Really good. At figure out what I like think that. is best. Just seems uh, a natural claim is uh, plateaus, though. Come on. You'll get it, Tommy. I believe in you. Get it. Thought I did. Maybe. There we go. There we go. Okay. Mega Gizmo. Oop. Magnivorous yep. Rex. Oh, I think we've seen that one. Oros. Oh, this is the same. Yeah, same it happens. Yep. 
probably different power order powers. Dark creature plus three plus Ooh. three, and it has all so creature types. You have a creature plus two plus two for each spell. Yeah, pretty similar. Armored War Tusk, six armor, eleven eight. Feral Instinct, spell give a creature plus six, six attack this turn. Give it uh, six armor and breakthrough. That's pretty good. If it deals damage to a player this turn, you may play a card for free. That seems that quite seems really good. good. Yeah, that seems very nice. Give your creatures plus six plus six. Ferocious roar. Look at that bear though. Yeah, that looks cool. That looks cool. Lead the charge. Give a creature plus fifteen health. Ready it. Ready it. Oh, so that's when you un exhaust it. You know oh. how the cards tap? Yeah. You can untap it and then tap it again. So if it has a really cool power, yeah. that's a nice combo piece. You may play up to three Wisp minions. Give your minions plus five, plus five. Didn't your purple lady in this set uh, like minions? Yes. Purple green again. Just a different kind of purple green. Yeah, very different. It's a minion army. Yeah. Magnivorous Rex. When another one of your dinosaurs comes into play, give it plus five, plus five. You may have it battle an enemy creature. An enemy plus creature. Five. Yeah. When an enemy player plays a spell, give this plus 10. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, so wait a second. When it, so That's it's a dinosaur fancy. combo. Okay, yeah. you need other dinos for that to work. Yeah. Um, so there's this yeah. thing I heard about called... Oh, there's a warrior. Legendary. Yeah, so you can see how some things work with other things. Yeah. A lot of spells in here. Um, Ooh, there's another mage. So apparently there's such thing as a legendary card, which I don't know what that means. Okay. But it's a thing. Sure. If you know what it means, leave a comment below. Tell us about it. Because I don't know. This is number 141. Okay. 536. 4,345. 15,000. <laughs> Holy crap. That's pretty cool. Soothing. <laughs> that's, how I'll, that's how I'll sort these cards. Yep. You collect yeah, you them all. Keep them indexed. Uh, soothing Polymorpher. You may replace an enemy creature with a Wisp minion. Seems pretty good. You gain five health. Yep. That is good. Swamp Moss Lurker. Oh, this is the one. Yeah. Deploy, give this attack equal to your health. That was good. I enjoyed that. Alisan, play a card for free. That's really good. Utter Charger, deploy. You may have this battle creature if this survives. Uh, you may repeat this ability. Sweet. Interesting. I'm here for it. I'm not against this. Yeah, it's different. It's different. You can you're starting to see how the feel. Yeah. Oh look, it's different art. Wasn't it the bear on the fourth one? Oh no no no. Yeah. Oh, it looks like it's tied to the bear art. Dang, that would be cool no. if the the art yeah. progressed. You know. Yeah. That. <laughs> I think I said that with flesh and blood too, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. I think I did. All right, guys. I keep repeating it out there. They're like, I don't want to pay for that much art. <laughs> I'm like, well, that's a Too sound business art. decision. <laughs> Let's have AI make your art. The major algorithm. Oh, God, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. Someone will kidding. do that. It would. Okay. Did you, you know hear what? about I, that? Off tangent. Did I, you hear, what? Yeah, go ahead. Did you hear about that app that people have been using yeah, their face yeah. to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... I would be for it if the theme of the game was like you play an AI trying to take over people's minds or something like that. Or maybe multiple AIs fighting each other in like a creative battle through like, you know, I don't know. You got to come up with a story that makes it make sense. What's this <laughs> orange? Orange is different than yellow. Ooh, is that gold? Is that, I mean, is that the legendary? Did you pull a legendary? Is that it? 
I don't know. I, don't think so. I, I don't, I don't know. know what is. Why are those colored? I don't know. Oh don't know. wait, all that, they are on that for the other decks. I don't think I ever noticed that before. Uh, do none of them have the little symbol next to them? Maybe it's no. the. Was it? I don't know, man. You got me. Well, it's the at the top of the deck here. It's a summoning color. Activate. Move another one of your creatures to any lane. Deploy. You may play a spell swarm minion. 10-5. On activate, you can move a creature to any lane. That seems pretty good. Yeah, it is nice. Uh, Rhymehorn Charger. Aggressive. Boy, if another creature lost health this turn, give your other creatures plus four. Volcanic Ice Crusher, aggressive. If you've played a spell this turn, give it plus 10. Conflagrate. Spell deal four damage to each of up to four different creatures and or players. Increase this damage by two for each mage you have in play. There's another one that cares about mages. Yeah. Summoning Lasher. Deploy, deal six damage to another creature. Deploy, you may play a spell swarm minion. That seems pretty Not good. Not this one, but he's 6-1. I mean, but he does two really useful things on deploy and is a chump. Yeah. That's going to hit back. That's not bad. No, I mean, it's gold tier, so yeah. it, it feels bad a little bit. Yeah. But Summoning glider. Deploy, if this is unopposed, give it plus 10. Boy, if you you may play a spell swarm minion. So a lot of spell swarm minions. Yeah, you got a lot of those. But when not a lot of spells. Yeah. But your other your green had a lot play, of spells, didn't it? Or play this with that purple minion deck. Did the purple minion deck have spells? Yes. Okay. It's all the spells that summon all the minions. There was only like two or three, I thought. I don't spells, know. yeah. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. Creature Elemental Mobility 1. You may play a Spell Swarm Minion. Scorch Main Dragon. Mobility 4. Deal 5 damage to all enemy creatures on deploy. That seems pretty good. Not a lot of damage, but it's only enemy. Yeah. I mean, Mobility kind of has a de like depleting return or whatever they call that. Yeah, diminishing return because it's like okay, four instead of two instead of one. Like, yeah, one's usually enough. Yeah. You don't really need to move four. Well, it's also <laughs> in fact just, you can it's only the move threat. four lanes. It's the threat of it. Moving. Yeah, that's true. The threat part. Yeah, that's probably pretty good. Everflame aura, ready a creature and give it plus ten attack. This turn it gets mobility three. Interesting. So that's well, there's a spell. Yeah, that's a spell. Burnout. Uh, you may give a min a spell swarm minion. Give your you may play a spell swarm minion. Give your creatures plus four. That seems good too. Yeah, because they'll also get the spell swarm plus for playing that. So yes, that's pretty pretty neat. Red, another swarmer minion deck in red. I'm here for it. Last up, we got blue. Iron Beard. We got Bolstering Prophet. Give another one of your creatures plus 13 armor this turn. Charge Plated Inventor. Deploy. You may play a Mega Gizmo Minion. What's a Mega Gizmo Minion? It's really good, and that thing had a crap oh, ton of life and uh, uh, life and attack on it. So that was really good. Just go to your tokens, or you don't. You haven't put away, don't you? It's like, oh, there. It is. Yeah. And a creature replaces this. Give it plus two, plus two. No, no, no. That it's the bigger one. Flip it. If it's on there. Oh, plus six, plus six. Yeah, and it's a six, six on its own. Yeah. So it could probably take a hit and then power up something fully yeah it's pretty sweet um 
and that thing had a like 12 12 or something flip flip to it what how is it no 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 in your in your other hand oh 2324 yeah that's pretty big yeah pretty big yeah that also puts down a 6 6 at pump 6 6 yeah a little bad no not bad. Oh, it is a cyber gnome. I didn't notice that. <laughs> <laughs> Combat tactician. 13, 14. Creature scientist. Creator. It's good if you have a deck that cares about scientists. That's about it. In gold. Yep. Yeah. I mean, if the rest of your cards are like, every time you play a scientist, get plus two, then sure. Then you'll, you'll love that card. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, Electronet. Give a creature minus 15 attack. If it has increased attack, this is free. If it, wait, what? So if someone increases attack, you can just yeah. automatically negate it. Oh, I see. And it's free, so you you don't have I to see. actually play I it. See. But if I they don't, know. then you can just play it, which is yeah. also pretty good. Uh, epic soldier, deploy. If this is in your leftmost lane. Give this plus 12 attack. If this is in your rightmost lane, give this plus 12 health. I, I played against one of these. It was incredibly painful. Because oh. <laughs> it was just always pumped like crazy. Oh. Every tier is pumped. Every yep. tier. Yep. And you're just like, but why do you have to own that lane forever? <laughs> <laughs> but now that's just yours. Yeah. <laughs> Got force fields. We've seen this one before. Give a creature plus fifteen armor this turn. If you play this on a warrior, it gets plus fifteen. There was a warrior in one of your other pieces. Yeah, there's a couple warriors. Yeah, starting to see him. Nano swarm spell. You may play up to two mega gizmo minions. If you have a scientist in play, give all of your non minion creatures plus three plus three. But that's gold and has a requirement so Question that's one. why you care about that one scientist yeah. <laughs> orion battle droid uh 12 one what with 12 armor tech upgrade is a spell choose one deal 10 damage to a creature or give a creature 10 armor this turn or upgrade up to two cards in your hand if you have a scientist in play choose two instead this might this half may be good in a spells matter combo deck, but problem is if you have too many spell things, you don't have enough creatures and you lose. Yes. War machine, if this is replaced a creature, give it plus ten. So and six six ten plus it. ten. Yep. <laughs> Seems pretty good. I don't know. There I haven't found a blue deck that I'm thrilled with yet. But definitely leaning purple and green. Of red course. and third. Blue and fourth. Not sold on the scientist. I like the red idea. Yeah, me too. Um, and I, I think and I did I did start with getting lucky on a really nice one. Uh, I think that this I red is one that I will enjoy. I think mixing the crazy rejected swarm with the Soldiers of Nightmare could be really fun. I gotta look at the ranking. I wonder if like Purple Green is pretty highly ranked because it feels like they go together really nicely generally in all the purples and greens that I've seen. I could yeah. be wrong. Like I haven't right, examined I mean, it could just this be deeply. our style of gameplay and what we enjoy. That's true. That's true. And the timer thing may matter. Yes. So because we're talking competitive XP on this, it's Maybe they always time out. I don't know. Right. Interesting. There's a lot more to explore. It's yeah. fun. Yes. But cool. Well, I will, I don't know. Honestly, like this is so it's not that expensive. I may grab a couple more booster kits. For this. Yep. And then you'll have a whole shelf full of them. Yeah. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking about filling out one of those BCW 3200 boxes. Eventually. With Soul Forge. Are you serious? Well, I mean, this is just the first edition, the first set. I'm sure they'll come out with other sets. Wow. That's a lot, though. I mean, no, it's not. 
how many decks do you think or half decks do you think that is well, we can figure it out there's math involved yes it's 30 cards and they'll, a half they're going to be sleeved a hundred different take up a lot of sleeves. I mean, a hundred and you have to do the factorial for co combining them but it's not exact because the colors you can't have two of the same color together right figure out how many decks you could build out of a 3200 <laughs> set of these things it would be a lot though yeah it would be it lot. won't it's not going to fit 3200 though because it'll be sleeved well how many would it fit i don't know and why are you sleeving them so that i can play with them <sighs> what? I enjoy can... playing with sleeved cards i know i know it's fun. it's just i'm it's, sure there's a good reason there are it definitely just, it feels better them. in my hand that's fair they do shuffle easier too yes I just don't feel like sleeving a bunch of cards. <laughs> I just I have I have a tray of just a ton of black sleeves that I took out so that I could uh, when I was sleeving too many flesh and blood cards, <laughs> and then I took them out and put them in other boxes, and now I just have all these extra sleeves. So I'm just using those extra sleeves for this project. Did you double sleeve every flesh and blood card you own? No. Okay. Absolutely not. No, I have all, none of my cards in. The only cards that are sleeved in my bulk are ones that I was too lazy to de sleeve. And they're probably rainbows, actually. And they're only single sleeve. And then the only thing that's sleeved in my like uh, playset collection are uh, Majestic stuff. It's like me. You're yeah. on the same. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's basically what I do, too. Yeah. Anywho, this is not flesh and blood, and we've no. rambled on long enough. <laughs> yeah. So stay tuned. Uh, I'm sure we'll be doing some gameplay for Soul Forge soon, because uh, I really want to play with these decks. Yep, yeah, we will. So it'll be fun. Until then, let us know what deck combinations you're liking. What are their names? And I can just so because I feel like the names kind of give you like an idea. Oh. Or you could post the link in the comments if you want. We'll probably check them out. Really? I mean, I read every comment, so I will probably actually click on any Soulforge deck link and I'll take a look at it. I don't know that Maybe I'll be able to form a good opinion. But it could get what's featured that? in a video. It's true. We could talk about them. First two people we to post even their deck them. links. First two people to post their deck links. John and I will play a game with that, them. That seems fair. I'll do that. Yeah. Cool. cool. Well, until then. We'll catch you guys later. Have a good one.